of fire promoter this is the LDW series I'm your host George Harris King last time we had our first title defense by Adam Page in a classic main event against Pentagon Jr and as you saw Adam Page is still our world heavyweight champion we also saw the new debut of Jeff Bryan Jeff Bryan defeated Nick Mondo in a fantastic match. Jeff Bryan is a great technical based and high flying wrestler as he picked up the win with that 630 um, moon salt there. Fantastic match between him and Nick Mondo. And also, you saw Ricochet in a great match with Michael Elgin. Um, <clears throat> that would be Ricochet's first win he's picked up here in LDW since the beginning of our show so great um, big props to him Michael Elgin we'll, we just have to hope that, for the best for him here in LDW um, training center I've already looked into this produce or not produce or produce merchandise sort of merged with stable logo dispose of I'm not going to dispose of it we made a great profit from this and we continue to make we're sold out make more while it's a hot commodity of course so damn we we actually run out after a while I mean it makes sense but man all right so we gotta make that expense uh, at 10,000 more Let's see how it all just comes together last time our budget I don't want to kill my high from last time but hey we actually started at 138,000 but hey, we still finished off with 135,000 by the end, so we only lost 3,000 bucks from that. And we didn't even have to borrow any wrestlers from the Indies, so it just went perfectly last show, in my opinion. Um, product age is one month. Stock, we sold, we had, what, 1,000? Now we're at 679, it's a hot commodity, you know, they're selling like crazy. Especially the shirts, too. We're on, we're on a great start, we're on a great run so far. Let's keep the momentum going, human resources. Um, I'm actually going to change where Jeff stands. Jeff is actually not going to be a part of good. He's kind of, he's a, he's a heel. This guy is definitely a heel. Okay, I've got to be honest. He's a heavyweight, he's a junior, he's a junior. He's definitely more of a heel, to be honest. How he carried himself in that ring. I just associate him for the cheers as like a June as a um good guy or whatever. So there's that. We're good there. Um I think I wanna oh, there's only two stables, okay. I was gonna say no affiliation, I'm gonna name that neutral, but no big deal. Anyways, um sorry, I probably affected your ears just now hitting the microphone like that. I'm just rubbing my eyes. Let's see, um I mean we're already over budget. Already. Just that quick. Cause when we spend the thirteen thousand, that's gonna be a quick spend right there. So, yeah, we have seven wrestlers. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too over budget. I want to make some money after this, serious money. And we're already gonna we're gonna hit over we're gonna be already over budget. So, there's that. Our budget is thirty five thousand six hundred fifty two. We're as soon as that thirteen thousand two hundred comes in, we're gonna have to deal with uh um, that was that that's basically straight up thirty six thousand bucks and some extra so my only thing at this point I mean we're gonna make a good amount of money by the end and we only lost thirty thousand only lost three thousand last time but we still gotta we can't we do we need to make money that's it plain simple we need to make money well, we basically, secondly, I mean, we lost only 3000 We still made back the most of the money that we spent. So if we don't, but, 
Lose only 3,000. We'll see. Okay. My attitude at this point is we'll see. This will be a regular show. Um, the world champion. I don't want to go over budget. And if we go over, like, I'm only willing to spend 5,000, maybe over 5,000 more. That's it. Tops. 5,000. Keep between five and 6,000 if we do try to bring in somebody. Let's check the status of, um, what's her name? Uh, Tessa Blanchard. How is... Oh, that's not checking the status. Let's go back. Um, training. He's in poor conditioning. He's normal. He's good. He's normal. He's normal. Still, even after that match, she's going to need a day off. Tessa's good, so she's coming back. Jeff is good as well. So when we book our show today, I think it should be starts off with Tessa versus Jeff Bryan as she comes back for the show. Um, Pentagon's gonna need a night off, so mm, we could. I don't want to make it two matches, but I'm thinking a, a tag team match would be the best bet for us. Maybe. Just a maybe, though. I think Mondo's not a heel, though. So, that's one thing that's going to be a problem. Or, it could be Tessa Blanchard versus Michael Elgin. But he's in poor conditioning. Oh, my God. He's he's going to need a night off. He's going to be injured soon. He, Michael Elgin's going to have to suck it up. Michael Elgin versus Tessa. And then we're going to have Ricochet teaming with Nick Mondo against Jeff Bryan and Adam Page in our main event. Because Pentagon needs a night off. And I don't want to spend money on a um, visitor right now. Because we don't, I don't have time for visitors, you know. Or, or we don't have enough money for visitors unless we make a good profit off of this. So, there's that. So, Michael Elgin, I'm, I'm making him work. He's got to pick up at least one win. And then he can have the night off next time. Cause he's he's not great at the moment. He's not he's if he was at a winning rate, like Tessa Blanchett, she was at a winning rate. She deserved a night off after that match with Pentagon Jr. And she was in poor conditioning. She definitely deserved it. He's a workhorse, but he loses. You know, you gotta pick up at least one win, at least one. That's that's how I'm working here. So that's that and I'm not biased I'm not playing any of these matches so it's not me being biased or anything it's it, you I send them out there as computers and they fight each other and it's like to whoever wins by the end I don't determine the ending it just happens so it's based on them and I just I just book them by who wins the most who loses and who deserves it more so that's as simple as that he's not in the worst condition either he's it says poor, but he's fine. Where on him? Where on him is poor? Maybe for, by fatigue. That's it. That's, I can say it's fatigue. That's all. It's poor, but his body's fine. Tessa, she's in great condition because she had a night off. He's gonna need a night off. He's in the red zone for God's sake. He's a hot, hot asset to the company right now. He's a hot employee. He is a great wrestler. Popular is going downward, whatever. I don't, I'm not even going to look at popular. We're already a D company, so we're not going to boost anybody up. Plus, Mike Logan still has the popularity, so there's that. And he's not in the worst conditioning. It's just saying that. So that's that. Moving on. So I know what I'm booking now. is going to book the event. Um, we're not going to do specifics. We're done. I'm done doing these types of matches and stuff. We need to just have normal matches. Like we're not that type of show with we're not we're not ultra violent, we're regular matches. And you can see what draws more people. We need to draw numbers. We need to draw people, we need to draw a lot for the show. So Michael Elgin versus Tessa, then a tag team match to end our show. And that's that. Cause Pentagon Jr. definitely needs that night off. And I'm not gonna I not we don't have enough for the budget to to get in a uh, guest for the show, unless we fill up the seats to like eighteen to twenty thousand, I don't even care. You know, so whatever. 
Welcome back, Tessa Blanchard. Let's see. It's not the main event. Let's see. You've seen them tag team before? It's Ricochet and Nick Mondo. And this is going to speak for the future. This speaks more for the future as um, Ricochet is clearly going to be challenging the champion soon. I mean, that's actually, I should have probably saved that, but hey, I mean, look at it. Ricochet, he's picked up great matches. He's put on great matches, and he deserves a world title match at some point, but we'll see what happens there. Pentagon, he's going to take a break. We're, we'll determine all that other stuff later. So 13,200, we're already over our budget. We're going to be under 100,000 in our own assets. So we need to do what we can do here to print some more money. You get me? So let's see. That's good. No tile matches at all. We're not doing any, like, because of configuring tile matches. We gotta get more people. We can't just crown our first champions. We need more people. I've thought about crowning this, but we need more people. <laughs> we're gonna need at least two more people. I mean two. We're gonna need we're at seven. We need three more people to book even a junior heavyweight champion, which would be cool. That'd be a cool thing to do. Um that's really it from there. That's all I can look at. Like we're gonna need at least three more people to book this mat this matchup. To book tag team matchups, we're gonna need up to at least I'd say fifteen to I mean fifteen. We're gonna need twenty. At least twenty people. The the goal by the end of the year is to have twenty people at least. Not this literal year. I mean the season, like you know, the whole twelve day twelve episodes. By our twelfth episode, I hope we're at twenty people. Or by our, tw our 12th episode would be at least at least I say 12. If we can make it to 12, I'll be happy. 12 or 20, 12 or 20. If it's something in between, that's even more progress. That's that's fine. But 12 or 20 people, that's my goal. All right, so we're good on booking the show. No configuring, just a simple show. Probably will. I mean, it's gonna be short. Um, configure the, the match styles and all that. 30 minutes spinning pan. It remembers it now. Spinning Panther. Holy crap! So there's that. Let's see. Um, the main event is nah. Eh. What's it doing? Yeah, this is a shorter show just because we have one guy out. And that's that really. I mean, we probably won't. We still have a full house. Look at that. We still got a full house, so they're gonna love it, and that's cool. And foreshadowing the future, you can see Ricochet and Nick Mondo are gonna be a tag team at some point, and that's gonna be cool to see them compete for the tag team titles at some point together. So there's that. We're good there. We're just gonna. All right, we finalized everything now. We're good, and confirm the match card. Let's see. Let's see, thirty-six thousand fifty. Thirty-six thousand fifty dollars. One moment. Not one moment. Let's just keep going. <laughs> All right. Yep. Standard event. We still sold out, even off of two matches. Two freaking matches. We still sold out. That's how good our popularity is right now. We are going places, man. Alright. Start us off. Here we go. I'm going to turn on my little commentary voice now. 
The show's about to begin. Here we go. Why's my phone not charging? Why's my phone not charging? There we go. Now it's charging. It keeps not charging, then charging. There's this is why I can stand technology sometimes. Okay, guys, welcome to Lions Den Wrestling. We just got Michael Elgin here. Let's see if he can pick up his first one here in LDW. Great matches, just can't pick up momentum. Even had a world championship match. Let's see what Michael Elgin can do. Now, here's his opponent. Welcome back, the Queen. We saw she put on a fantastic match with Pentagon Jr. two episodes ago in that number one contenders match. Now here she is back in better conditioning, facing off against Michael Elgin in this match. Welcome back, Queen. Here we go, guys. Tessa was on an undefeated streak. The first defeat was by Pentagon Jr., who was also on an undefeated streak. Let's see if she can bring back her momentum after that one loss here. And let's see if Michael Elgin can pick up his first win and pick up his first amount of momentum here in LDW. Chop there. Suplex. Stalling suplex showing off the strength. Ooh, elbow there. Oh. Fireman's Perry takedown there to Michael Elgin. The strength of Tessa Blanchard is amazing. I like how she stays on the opponent, does not back away at all. Oof. Michael Elgin, oh, already pinfall. Not even a one count. Kind of really early for that. Oh. Drop just takes him down just like that. Oh, Tessa takes him down. My goodness. Tessa Blanchard. After one, after some rest, she is able to come back. That's her, I, okay, random thought. I've been saying last week, these episodes are going by months. So, last month. <laughs> so, two months ago, basically. You can go by episodes. Bro. Oh, my God. Roll up there. One. Ooh. That could have been it. My goodness. Come on, Elgin. It has nothing. I, I, you can almost make a joke like, don't get beat by a girl, but Tessa ain't, is not the average girl. We respect each gender and everything. That's why I want to see her as a world champion here in LDW. There's no specific women's championship. Oh. If she takes a punch to the face by a man, she says... Hit me again. She punches him back and she says, hit me again. She's ready to fight here. But see, Elgin, she's picked up some wins. Can you pick up a win? I'm definitely throwing some shade. Uh, I'm talking junk. I want to see if he can do something here. I, look, I respect great matches by him, but he needs to pick up some type of win. Oof. He was even be he was even defeated by the visitor, man. I can't even I can't shut up over here. He is oh, just a brutal just throws her right outside the ring. He's even defeated by that visitor, Stanley Adams. My goodness. Alright, Tessa is still taking the advantage. Ooh, step up in Zaguri. Double underhook. Oh my god, the strength of Tessa Blanchard. Elbow there. Throws her in. Here we go. Oh my god, Lariat. Just a nasty Lariat there. Tessa has been bloodied up since being in LDW. She has went through a, a slight injury. That's why she took time off. She has picked up so much momentum here and lost that match to Pentagon but was put on a fantastic showing now here she's back to try to show what she has from all of that Michael Elgin he's just been through straight up wars now a big man going up oh my god rolling senton to the back of Tessa Blanchard 
Oh, falling clothesline there. Now what? Michael Elgin. Oh, pinball one, two, three. Oh, that was almost it. Burning Hammer. Oh, Tessa is down. Pinfall. One, two, three. Oh, very, very close once again. Oh, elbows and then falls up with a spinning elbow. Le things are looking up for Michael Hogan in this match. Take that back. Falling close on by Tessa Blanchard. Both are down. Tessa is exhausted and shook. Another burning hammer. Oh my god. Pinfall here. One, two, throw. Those burning hammers are gonna knock her silly. He was gonna go for a mic. He was gonna for Elgin Bomb. Reverse one, two, throw. Oh, so close. Almost had Elgin there. Pinfall here. One. Two, throw! Amazing! Double on the hook, DDT! Cactus Jack style, pinfall here. One, two, throw! Oh! Doesn't even get to 2.9, but hey, it put the man down. Now what? Double on the hook, DDT! Drags him to the middle. Now pinfall, one, two, Throw almost. Now what? He tries to do it. My God, the strength of Tessa Blanche is a suplex the big man. Throws her in. Press slam. He's calling for something here. Could he be setting up for the Elgin bomb? Oh, cold breaker by Tessa Blanchard. Is that it? One. Two, three. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to Queen Tessa Blanchard. Michael Elgin defeated once again. My goodness. Fantastic match there. Fantastic match for Michael Elgin, but could not pick up the win as usual, man. Come on. But hey, congratulations, Tessa Blanchard. Welcome back. Definitely showing what she can do. All right, here we go with our next matchup of the evening. We have Ricochet versus Nick Mondo. Oh, what am I doing? Ricochet and Nick Mondo versus Jeff and <laughs> Adam Page. Jeff, um, Brian. Jeff, Brian, and Adam Page. Here we go, guys. Main event time. Should be a fantastic main event here, guys. I'm ready for it. Ricochet has been amazing with his ability in the ring. Sure, he's picked up some losses, but hey, he picked up that win against Elgin last show. So, pretty good. Here he is. This is Sick Nick Mondo. Bit of a thing going on between him and Jeff Bryan backstage after that at that um, loss. Nick Mondo was willing to shake the hand of Jeff Bryan. Jeff Bryan just took his hand and slapped him in the face. There's just so so much disrespect to a legend in Sick Nick Mondo. So they've got some serious tension. Ricochet went to the GM personally and, and said, Hey, I think I deserve a world championship match. So that notice has been given and been taken into account. There is a possibility that Hangman Adam Page, let's see if he will accept that world title match. If the if the team of Sick Nick Mondo and Ricochet win this match, maybe it will influence both opponents here tonight. The world champion and Jeff Bryan. Here is the world champion Hangman Adam Page. Successful title defense last show. And here he is, the newcomer, new signee to LDW. You saw him make his debut last show. This is the Knight of Despair, Jeff Bryan. This man offers technical mat-based wrestling as well as luchador style. He's fantastic in the ring. So disrespectful. 
to the, the ones that innovated his style. Very cocky and brash. Look at that. Oh, takes him down. Like I said, this guy could be the few, the new Jack. He could be the Jack Evans of LDW here. Just look at how fast he is. He's him and Ricochet. I'm glad they started off because their speed can match up. This is going to be fun to watch as they go back and forth. Pile driver. That was his number one move last show. Test of strength matches up. I would love to see these two go at it like one on one. Misses misses the move there for a pinfall. Oh, shooting star press from Ricochet. Tags in the world champion. Tags in Sick Nick Mondo. Jeff Bryan takes down both opponents. Now chin lock hold by Adam Page to Ricochet. But Ricochet is not the legal man. Here is Sick Nick Mondo. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Adam Page. Nick Mondo. Standing toe to toe now. Oh. Nice uh, Muto leg whip there. Let's take down the opponent. Oh. Adam Page throwing why he is the world champion. Throws him in. Oh. Flat, just running with that elbow. Takes down Nick Mondo. Arm drag there by Mondo. Punch to the face. The exchange between these two. Going back and forth, back and forth. Mondo had wins the exchange. Oh. Now attacking the legs right in the face of Jeff Bryan. Oh, kicks down Nick Mondo. My goodness. Pinfall here. Kicks out of that. Scoop slam just like that. Into a Boston Crab. Once again, these two meet face to face in the ring. Jeff Bryan, Nick Mondo. Now tags in Ricochet. I really like this Jeff Bryan dude. He's amazing in that ring. He's a, a lot of charisma. I mean, more cockiness than charisma. All right, all right I love this move. Double by my A. Oh, running drop kick. Now, these two meet back in the ring. Ricochet. Oh, double drop kick takes down Ricochet there. One thing I'll say about Signic Mondo comparison to his tagging partner Ricochet. Signic Mondo has one win, and I'd say well, we're on the fifth episode now. So one win, four losses. No, no one win, three losses. All right? Let me get it together. <laughs> one and three, and Ricochet is also one and three here in LDW. Hangman hey Page is actually undefeated here in LDW, and that's why he is our world champion. Standing Moonsaw one. Oh, okay, doesn't get one count. One side is undefeated. The other side holds the same record. So this is a very, very balanced matchup. It's a big deal for Jeff Bryan to even be on the tag team of Hangman hey and Page. Double by me to the world champ. Now what? Pile driver to sick Nick Mondo. Mondo is down. Pinfall here. Roll up one. Kick out there. In comparison to Michael Elgin, he defeated Michael Elgin, but sick Nick Mondo is also a workhorse here in LDW. He's competing on each show and is in pretty good conditioning here tonight. Oh, the referee is down. My goodness. Scoop slam down. Oh my god, now they're capitalizing on this opportunity. Check on Earl Hebner. My goodness. We really need to hire a ring doctor. Ruffrey is still down. 
Someone help him out. I think, oh my God, look at, the referee is busted wide open, ladies and gentlemen. Neckbreaker there. Kick to the back. Kicks both men down. Somebody needs to send for the man. Earl Hebner is hurt. I'm really worried about the referee right now. My goodness. Hey, man, Paige. Roll up. There we go. One. Oh. My goodness. Tags in Jeff Bryan. Oh. Throws him right across the ring there into the ropes. Now Boston Crab capitalizing on the attack on the back. Jeff Bryan throws off Nick Mondo. Drop kick to the back of Jeff Bryan. Serious tag team action here between these two. Pinfall. One, two. Oh, Dolan gets a one count. Oh, throws Nick Mondo around. Here comes Jeff Bryan. Frog splash. Oh my God, Hurricane Rana into a pinfall. Throws out Sick Nick Mondo. Now Jeff Bryan into a Boston Crab on Sick Nick. Oh, a Samoan drop from Adam Page to Ricochet. Jeff Bryan going after Sick Nick Mondo. Could this be in the works for next show? Nick Mondo. Excuse me, Nick Mondo and Jeff Bryan just going at it back, back and forth. And then Hangman hey Page facing Ricochet next show. We'll see after this match. But we got to see who's going to win. Nick Mondo has a light too, for God's sake. Amazing match here in our main event, guys. My goodness. Watch out for Nick with that light tube. This is not a non, no DQ match, Nick. Gotta be careful. Falling clothesline. Everybody's in it. Everybody's all carnage. Has every all hell's breaking loose. And the reason why it's all breaking loose is because of Earl Hebner is hurt. If I won, two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. It looked like Jeff Bryan had the tights there for a moment. As Ricochet up. Ricochet response. Oh my god. 630 Moonsaw. One, two, three. Congratulations to Ricochet and Sick Nick Mondo. They have won the main event. Man, what a fantastic match. Amazing. Just amazing. Hold on. I've just gotten word from the general manager. Ricochet will face Adam Page right here next show for the LDW World Heavyweight title. And Jeff Bryan Sicknick Mondo will go at it one on one once again. Fantastic show, guys. All right, so now we turn off the. Um, the show commentary voice now we're back to the regular voice here all right oh good show um our rating is not the greatest which is why i didn't want to overspend see i had that coming michael Uggen will have a day off on the next show okay it's sad that he didn't pick up the win it's whatever great match though with tessa blanchard even in poor condition but he can take a break he gets a break next show, so that's that's the that's what's best for him. We okay. Fans, fans weren't satisfied. I'm worried about our next event. Don't worry about next event. I got you. We're good for that one. You know what? We're gonna. You know what? I already know how I'm gonna book the next show. I'm gonna wait till the next episode to reveal what I'm gonna do. I revealed matches and stuff, but. There's other things I'm thinking about. See, look at that. Our budget is not too bad. We're not too bad. That's good. 
And you know what I'm going to do next show? We are, I'm calling it now. We are not going to invite nobody. We have a good enough roster for the next show to kill it. I got, we, we got this next show, guys. We got it. I'm ready for it. Perfect. So, still make good money off the merch. Through goods and all that. Advertising, salaries, t-shirt production. Okay, yeah, we, we got all that done. We're good. We're good. We still got a good budget. We're still over $100,000. That was my big goal. Still keep it over 100000 Because if we go under that, we're in jeopardy. You understand? So, there's that. Alright, guys. We are in June now. Okay, good for them. Good for BDG. Alright, guys. So, we're going to save here. Save our progress. Looks like we're getting up there. We upgrade from a C to D, D, D. Triple D's. So, double D's. Um, so... C, D, double D's. Okay. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching this episode of LDW in the series. Um, I'll catch you on the next episode. So, 